smells like lemon turd. I didn't want to say it, but it, I'm sorry, but it does. It looks like lemon turd. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Did you, you kept it in the freezer. I told you. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to put I knew that was going to happen. I don't know why. I was like, she's going to turn it into ice cream. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> hey, by the way, I, in, the, in the interim, since I've had dinner and, and all that, I, I went back. I actually went back and checked the text that I sent you. Yeah. I did say whipped cream. I just, oh, okay. just for the record. Oh, good. I, I thought you might have. I was like, maybe I read it wrong. Yeah. I told you I was probably might have been maybe. It's all right. You're busy. You got you got little ones to take care of. You don't have time to read the fine print. Well, I had just moved yesterday. That didn't really help the cause. Oh, that's the worst. They say moving's up there with divorce and and death. Cool. It's one of the most stressful things on the yeah. on the system. So I do that a lot. So um, move. Yeah. The or get divorced. No, Which no. I've only been married once and still married. Um, so no. <laughs> but um, move. You move a lot. Yeah, I move all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm What's not the star sign? What? Steady though. I thought maybe you were like some star sign that likes to move around a lot. Like, what's the star sign that likes to move around a lot? I don't know. Sagittarius? They like to travel. My daughter is a Sagittarius. Does she like to stay put, or is she always moving? <laughs> well, <laughs> she's three, so... <laughs> always moving. <laughs> yeah, not quite sure yet. So, what have you got in store for us, Alex? People are anxiously awaiting. I don't know. I, I, this is going to be, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to make something. I'm just going to try to make it pretty. Um, so I don't know if anybody's been following along. And they have, believe it or not. People, people have been quite invested in seeing your, in your outcome. They were messaging me saying, what happened to Alex? Where is she? We want to see them. <laughs> yeah, they give it, they give a shit. I had to, okay, well, I'm glad, I'm, I'm happy, that's good, that's great. I, I had to, yeah, like I said, we had to, we had, we had a, a moving arrangement situation in the house. Um, there, it is extremely hot here and there is no air conditioning and uh, my son and my husband were sleeping in like- How's the, the, how's the underarm? Space, the underarm? Oh, the smell? Yeah, without the, without the AC. Oh, you're staying down there quite a while, it mustn't be too bad. Just sniff, just before you come back. It's not too bad. It's not, it's not. My, I put on a nice, um, okay, this looks terrible. Yeah. Um, this isn't looking good. What is it? What are you doing out of, it's out of frame. What are you doing down there? Probably better than it's out of frame. I don't know. Maybe it's, let me show you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I want the lecture back. <laughs> so I put. What is uh, that? This whipped cream. Did you whip it? Yeah. Okay. I didn't whip it enough. I was I was pressed for time. I was trying to jump on here as fast as possible, and I didn't want everybody watching me doing a whipping again. Yeah, we've done I, enough of that today. I, I was people. like, save these poor people from doing the whipping. So I used this emulsifier, which whips cream faster than just a hand mixer. But obviously, it's not very fluffy. So, um, it still looks good. You know, at the end of the day, it's probably going to taste okay. So your kids have gone to sleep. So who's going to eat it? You and Casey? <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Into like a deep, 
dark depression, like an absolute sugar hole for about 20 minutes. I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't move off the couch. So I'm just warning you, there's a lot of sugar in this dish. You're going you're gonna to crash. You're going to go up really, really high, and then you're just going to go. But it'll be perfect. You can go to bed. What are you reading? The Pavlova. Are you reading it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're going to get really sugary giggly. Should I try to whip this? <laughs> Has it come back to um? Has it come back to room temperature yet? The curd. The curd. The turd. <laughs> the yellow turd. <laughs> this looks looks pretty bad. Uh. I don't. Yeah, that's it. I didn't even know you put butter in curd, but obviously it's a thing. <laughs> I think I was getting some kind of American recipes. That's how they do it over there. I don't know. Someone said it looks like, it looks like mustard. Kind of does. <laughs> it looks like mustard. It looks a lot like mustard. It doesn't taste like mustard. And it tastes like lemons. True. This would be better like inside of something though, because <laughs> like a grenade. You could use it as a weapon. <laughs> it looks very dense. <laughs> I don't think lemon curd is supposed to stay inside the pot like that. <laughs> I mean, uh... Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna whip it whip it good. Uh, just so like, you are going to whip it. With what? Uh, should I use the the electric thing or just a whisk? Cause oh, please. Whatever's going to be quicker at this at this juncture. At we just want it to get a little bit. Just so that I can spread it. The bowl. The suspense is killing me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the whipping. Yeah, maybe I could make some kind of. I just, if I could make like a design. This is not, apparently, not my forte. Okay. Oh, uh, but you know, you were, you were sort of shooting from the hip. You're improvising with the lack of cream. And now, uh, you know, I think, I think you've done a gallant effort. I think what you've done is incredible. Oh, you're so positive. That's nice. Come on, you've, you've, you've turned, this is the first time you've ever tried to make a pavlova. Your pavlova looks really good. The pavlova was not fully cooked either because I had to leave the house. So it was, I, you know, I just, I didn't have, I, I was so prepared. It's okay. This in the future, I'm going to be more prepared. This is good. See, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're showing people out there that it's good to fail. It's um, okay to fail, but there is no failure. The only failure is to never try. I guess that's well, that's no, true. I, 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 yeah, but I, I don't, I don't totally believe that. I mean, I definitely feel uh, lots of trying in my life and failing. So you know, which is uh, I, you know, I just it sucks. Failing sucks. This is not so bad. I'm making a pavlova on Instagram Live. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm not upset about it. You know. Okay, you're. you're you're, you're talking. I'm, I'm just I'm just listening here. Just okay. Yep. Talk out. <laughs> what I mean is that whenever we try anything, even if we don't succeed, that failure becomes an opportunity for a lesson, right? And like yes. So really, the only failure is to never give it a go in the first place. So I, I think you're 
True. And you can't discover new lands without losing sight of... Oh, what is it? You can't discover new lands without losing sight of the shore. So you got to get out there into the great unknown. You've got to, you've got to try new things. Or? Huh? You can't discover new lands without losing sight of the shore? Is that how that goes? Yeah, like you can't... You can't discover, right, in the old days, you couldn't find new lands unless you had the courage to leave sight of your own shore. You had to go out into oh. an environment that's unknown and... You have to lose sight of the shore. Yeah, that's lemon curd. Holy lemon. Wow, is it nice and lemony? Oh my God. Good girl. Wow. I reckon it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome with the sugar. That is... That is tart. That is something that is spirit. Do you have any mint in your house? I wish I had some mint. I, I need to do a, sh a like a real proper shopping uh, for the new situation. I have not. A real proper shopping? A real proper shopping. I need to go get all my real proper shopping. What Ooh. kind of things are you going to buy when you go for your, your shop? Uh... Uh, it's too long to list, so I'm not going to bore the friends at home with the list of things that I buy. So it's a lot of... Anybody that has children knows. Nappies. Nappies? No, my kids aren't in diapers anymore. Oh. Okay. Toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put... I'm putting berries... It's gonna be fine. No, it's just not that. No, no. 
It's gonna be fine. It is. It, well, of course, it is fine. But, um, but the paper. I think I should have left the paper on because now. What the paper underneath it? Yeah, yeah. The uh, the parchment. Because now it looks a little bit goofy. That's all right. I just honestly, the only thing that really matters is how it tastes. Okay. Well. All right. This is it, folks. Is this it? Is this the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh. um, the, the, don't don't mind the the paper. It makes it look a little shabby. Oh my God, that's beautiful. What are you talking about? Well, Alex, the little edges are. It's not... Oh, you are, you are so hard on yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, put your digital hands together <laughs> and give Alex a giant. Yeah. Oh my God, that looks awesome. Come on. It's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Marno. Oh, so bad taking a compliment. You're worse than Mel Monroe. I'm worse. Ah! Uh, no, thanks, thanks. Yeah, okay. It looks beautiful. I'm so impressed. No wonder you were mucking around down there for so long that you put a bit of love into that. I was, I was going for the presentation. Oh. All right, let's see here. Oh my God, it looks so good. Now the eyes don't lie. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna like it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So. That is some fucking sugar. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of sugar. Yeah. It's a lot of sugar. Oh my god. Can oh, I someone <laughs> said it looks perfect, and they're from New Zealand. That's high praise. You guys eat this a lot? Uh, yeah, we do. We eat it a lot, like wow. every three or four hours. <laughs> it's delicious, but damn, it's sweet. It's a lot of sugar, eh? <laughs> Kids usually have it on Christmas Day, and then they just run around outside for hours, bashing themselves <laughs> against trees and things. Oh, my God. Oh, well done. Have you got the crispy bits? Have you got the little crispy meringue bits? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, on the outside. That with the squishy bits and the cream. And I bet with your uh, lemon, it's actually pretty good. I think you had a happy accident. The lemon curd, I think, is essential. Yeah. So sweet. I'm well done, you. Oh, I salute you. You are an honorary Kiwi. All right? If you can make that across the digital airwaves, first time, turns well, out looking like that. I had a very good teacher, uh, and I worked my heart out. Well, we should thank my mum. Good old Veronica came uh, all the way from, from her heart. Oh, thank you, Veronica. I'm sure she's sleeping right now, aren't you? No, she's in New Zealand. It's like, she's all right. She's probably doing yoga. I should do more yoga. She does a lot of yoga. It's good. My mom's 74, five, 75. She's still just running around, having a good time. Very healthy. Oh, that's so, nice. Like that in my seventies. Yeah, yo, you got to keep moving. I keep eating pavlova though. I don't know. Yeah, well, just you know, once or twice a year is good. Like birthday and Christmas. Birthday and Christmas. It's good, eh? You can't stop eating it. <laughs> <So good>. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat that whole bit. Uh, well done. Check. I'm gonna be up all night. Yeah, you're gonna be up for a while. Trust me. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So lemon curd. I reckon I'm gonna do it next time. I'm gonna do lemon curd, but not like this. Not lemon curd. No. <laughs> lemon curd ice cream. I uh, think 
because I mixed it with my with Well, thank you for teaching me how to make this. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so impressed. It looks absolutely beautiful. I hope you should take a photo of it. Oh, I should have done that. Um, but I, next time I will have the actual, like, things. Ingredients? The, the, ingre the things to make it with? Yeah, it's always well, good. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Well, I had the ingredients, what I thought was the ingredients, but I didn't have, uh, like, the mixing thing and... Oh, the mix, yeah, yeah. I, well, just, I, I thought there was one here, and, it, and there was, but it didn't work. So. Well, I want to I wanna tip my hat to your incredible effort today. <laughs> that was amazing what you're doing by hand. <laughs> Seriously, you're sweating away there. It was awesome. Yeah. I am a little bit ripe. I should probably take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Do you smell like the sea? I do a little bit, yeah. I had a nice day. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah, always good on the water. Nice. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we've come to the end of our Pavlova uh, wow. segment. Yeah, wow. I'm, that is, I am reeling from that. Thank uh, you. Yeah, have a lovely night. You as well. No, I'm going to bed. Okay. You're, you're, you're going to be buzzing for a bit. Well, it's good because there's a pile of dishes from this experiment in. Yeah, me too. Oh. I got a few to do. I'm going to turn on some some nasty rap music and I'm going <laughs> to shake it, shake it in the kitchen. Well, we we can find. We'll, we'll have to find something to do next in the next few weeks another dish from someone around the world you can choose the next one okay all right i think well yeah Maybe what nothing 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 okay nothing nothing, nothing. Do, 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 do. you have to put out you have to put out a question so that people All right, I will do that. Yes, there is butter in, somebody said. There is butter in, in lemon curd. There is some. Okay. Martin, did you eat another piece? What's it so taste what? like? It tastes like marshmallows and sugar. Does it taste like a yellow turd? No, sir. <laughs> but perhaps you could tell us. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can already feel the sugar hangover I'm gonna have from this. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Seriously, I was just oh yeah, it took me down. And then I had to eat dinner and my dinner just felt Oh heavy. It was yeah, it was all the wrong way around. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why our parents were telling us to eat. My mother was always like, well, your stomach is going to absorb the most nutrients out of the first thing that hits it when your stomach is empty. That's what she would tell me when I was a kid. Because I was like, mom, I don't understand. They're always telling me not to ruin my appetite, but I can eat like a horse. So I don't really understand why. I was like, I can eat all of it. Because I was, I, I was very active as a kid. So I would eat just like a lot of food. And but what was... What kid cares about nutrients anyway? I haven't met a kid yet that's like, no, I'm going to eat that because it has more nutrients in it. I think kids like, ah, oh, I, I want the, the point, sugar one. I think the point is to be like, this is what's going to make you grow. Big and, and strong. Make you. Yeah. Healthy body and healthy brain, right? 
Because the nutrients you put to your body are supposed to directly, I don't know. What the, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. No, I just, you're right. I, I do know what you're talking about. I think this, you're absolutely right. I just don't know how many kids really give, give a, a shit. shit. I know. Yeah. But I do remember that specifically, so clearly some. So now you're going to be telling it to your kids. This is one of those things that. Nutrition, so that's all right. Oh, you're lucky. So is my mom. We weren't allowed, we had to have brown bread. We weren't allowed any white bread. Oh, no. no food coloring, none of that stuff. I, I felt very hard done by as a kid, but I realized now my mom took good care of me. And I'm very grateful. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Hello to Guatemala and Colombia. We got Where's a lot country? of Latin Americans. Mark Pavlova, he already made his. What? Somebody was asking where your Pavlova was. Where mine was? Oh, it's right here. Oh, funny you should mention it. Oh. Isn't it a kiwi putting a kiwi on a Pavlova? But I, hey. It's pretty cool. It's pretty kiwi. It's, yeah, you know, I think it's nice. I think it's nice too. All right, should I save this lemon curd? Do you want me to save it for you? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for asking that. Really, are you sure? Yeah. Oh my God, you're such a thoughtful person. <laughs> I feel like it's a waste though. All right, I'm, maybe I'll save it for something else i'll figure out something. save it and put tons of sugar in it and freeze it again and give it to your kids as lemon gelato or something okay all right i'm gonna clean my kitchen and try to go to bed all right dude <laughs> All right, just have, if you get tired, just have another piece of have I'll love and you'll, have some more you'll clean your whole house. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. We'll post the recipe tomorrow so you can all give it a go. Yeah, with the whipped cream. Oh, you should add lemon curd to it. You got it, man. Ah, uh, man. Ciao. Ciao.